is, is fat. And so all of this yellow tissue that you see here, this is fat. And what's interesting is, is as you pull at it, you notice that there's a, a clear line. When you pull the fat, the, the brown is always muscle, and you don't want to remove that. So, but when you pull fat up, there's a clear line. And if you notice, I'm not cutting. I'm just probing. And as I pull, um, as I pull through the clear, all, you, it's always good to take out the clear stuff. And I'm probing back and back and back and back and back. This is a little boy, and he has genitalia. Oh, my heavens, Mr. Beatty. All right. So that's genitalia there. And this is fat surrounding the genitalia, so I'm just going to remove that. Now, that's the kind of stuff we don't want in the drain. That's the stuff we want in, in, the, in the, the garbage. Um, to sort of sit there and go, that's not going to do you anything. You've got to sort of get under it and lift it and get rid of it. So don't be just sort of pawing away. You're going to be there a very long time. So as I pull that up, see? See? There's like the layer of, of fat there. And as I sort of pull that away, then I begin to expose the muscles underneath. Now, as I start to look, so I'm probing away and I'm exposing. Now, just that little bit of exp exploration there, I've noticed that I've got this muscle here along the upper forearm, and it's, got, it's called the dorsoepitrochlearis, and that's clearly this muscle here. So when I probe underneath of it to separate it from the other muscles, there we go, when I probe underneath of it, I can see that that muscle is separate, and now I've sort of pulled it out. Now I've identified it. That's my dorsoepitrochlearis. In the arm itself, there's two muscles, triceps long head and triceps lateral head. So as I look, I'm pushing from the underneath, and I can, I can when I push, I notice that there's a division. This muscle, the lines are going this way, and this muscle, the lines are going that way. So if I sort of probe it at that murky area in between, I see that the muscle separates. Okay? And so what I've done... Yeah is I've separated, so I've got my dorsal patroclearis, my triceps long head, and my triceps lateral head. That's on the diagram. Now, there are muscles here, but again, there's a good layer of fat, and that needs to come off, so I need to sort of get underneath that. When I start taking brown stuff off, I have to stop, because now I'm down to muscle. But up until I get there, and I see all that clear stuff, all that's got to go as I pull. So you'll notice, you know, there's a certain degree of handling it, a certain degree of brutality that you've got to get in there and get rid of this stuff. This blue stuff is just fat that's got latex on it, and I'm pulling up and I'm probing underneath of it. When I start to pull off something that's brown, I stop because I know that that's muscle tissue. Right? So this is all clear, so this has all got to go. So this might be a time when I would actually use a pair of scissors, but I'd be careful so that I'm not going too deep. Right now I choose not to use scissors. I'm just going to probe through it. Yeah, we call it we call it flicker. Wow, good job. <laughs> All right. We call it flicker. So someone hold that tray. I'm going to do that again. Thanks. Okay, so now I'm pulling Ew. that fat. <laughs> Ew. Ooh. What's you? Got on me. Oh, wow. He flicked mink, on me. Mink juice. Mink juice. Juicified. Okay. So as I do this, I can see there's a large coarse muscle right here running down from the shoulder to the legs. There it is. Okay. And it's very large and very coarse. There it is there. And it's the clavotrapezius. So this large muscle here is the clavotrapezius. And as I probe over, I can see where it naturally ends, which is at that body of fat. So there's my clavotrapezius. Now, the trapezius muscles are the ones that are on the tops of your shoulders, your traps. The big guys look triangular, right? And what you've got is your clavotrapezius. There's one right over the leg called the acromotrapezius, and one that goes back towards the spine called the spinotrapezius. So this is the clavotrapezius. This very thin muscle here would be the acromotrapezius. See so yeah. that? Okay, that big sheet, triangular shape. And then over here, we would have the spinotrapezius, just right there. Now, I'm poking in where I see those line divisions, the fuzzy areas between the muscle. So what I've got is the spinotrapezius, the acromotrapezius, the clavotrapezius. This big sheet muscle here, this big sheet of muscle here, that's the latissimus dorsi. That's this one right here. It starts at the leg and goes back. So I've got latissimus dorsi, spinotrapezius, 
acromotrapezius, clavotrapezius, dorso of patroclearis, triceps long head, triceps lateral head. Remember those ones, okay? So now, up around the mouth, I have the masseter right there. Up right on the forehead, I have the temporalis. So, masseter, temporalis, clavotrapezius, acromotrapezius, spinotrapezius, latissimus dorsi, dorso epitrochlearis, triceps long head, triceps lateral head. Now I'm going to roll him over, and what I'll notice is that he has pectoral muscles, and he's got two set. One that starts from the center and goes out in a triangular shape. Can you see that? Okay, right there. Those are his pectoralis majors, pec muscles. These ones here run down and underneath. You can see that you can see the striations in the muscle are running this way. See that? As opposed to the striations in the muscle running this way. These are his pectoralis minor. So here's his pectoralis major. Oh, sorry, here's his pectoralis major. Here's his pectoralis minor. In the picture, they've cut one major away so you can see underneath, but you don't have to do that. All right? This large muscle here covering his throat that has been cut in all of your meeks, they were cut so they could inject it with dye, this large muscle here is the sternomastoid. Okay? Now, to get to the other muscles that are on the other side, because it shows it, them cut away, then you actually have to tear the sternomastoid a, a little further apart. So what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to sort of get in here and I'm going to tear the sternomastoid down a little further, and in doing so, I'm going to expose his trachea, his windpipe. See that? Okay. Hmm. That's his trachea. And then as I reach and probe underneath of it, his esophagus is attached directly to... esophagus is attached directly to his trachea. There it is. Right there. As I probe further up, and this is where, this is where, you know, you border on brutality. You have to be careful. I'm putting this, you can see the probe, and I'm not going through brown, I'm going through clear. See? Because you can still see the tip. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not tearing muscle. So I'm coming up here, and I'm going to poke it right out above his, below his jaw, sorry, and then I'm going to tear that. So give a wonderful rip. So give a wonderful ripping sound. Okay. And by tearing that apart, I've exposed his mandibular gland, which is here. That was on top previously. And now I'm going to move and keep teasing that sternomastoid apart. And as I do, I begin to expose some of the I'm going to start to expose some of the muscles of the, th the throat up here. Here are the masseters. We already did those. There's two large muscles in here that cause his jaw to pull down. Those are his digastric muscles, and they are here and here, those great big ones there and there. Okay? Oh, up here, there's a little triangular one called the mylohyoid, which is, I may have mangled a bit. It's right there. It's that little triangular one right here, which I did mangle a bit. Now, underneath the sternomastoid are two ribbon-like muscles, right there. Two ribbon-like muscles. There's one. See that? And what's kind of cool about these muscles is they're actually attached together. Watch, I can tease them apart here. You can see that there's a, a clear line between them. See that? See the line for me? There. I'm teasing them apart. And those are the sternohyoids. So let's review. Pectoralis major, here. Pectoralis minor. Sternohyoids. Sternomastoids. I have that reversed. Sternomastoid, sternohyoid, sorry. Trachea, esophagus underneath. Digastric. Mylohyoid, here. Mandibular gland. Masseter, temporalis. Clavotrapezius, acromotrapezius, spinotrapezius, latissimus dorsi, dorso epitrochlearis, triceps long head, triceps lateral head. And that's the upper. Okay? So you kind of see the degree of brutality. You gotta kind of you do you can't go you, you're gonna you're gonna be there a long time. So you gotta get in, get at it, get those muscles teased out.